2.15 on the afternoon, the day after the Christmas holiday, the actual day after. So the 26th, it's the next day afternoon. Hopefully you done picked up all that doggone wrapping paper, all them unnecessary bags and streamers and cut up ribbons you done, you know, all unnecessarily done. Just murdering trees for the sake of making it look all pretty on the throw it in the trash. Please recycle. Please recycle. These efforts now I know seem like a lost cause because everything is just going to crap and it's going to all wither away. But you know what? Do your part. Do your part. Do what you can to fix the problem. Don't make it worse just because everybody just because everybody else peeing on the person. Don't you pee on them. Yeah, they're covered in piss. They pissy, rancy, rank. But don't you piss on them. You piss the other way. You piss on somebody different. You, you know, don't, don't be a part of the group. Put motive to your actions. Have mercy. A little tidbit of just some information I want you to know. Don't credit people with the, with the benefit of having common sense. Don't just assume that. Don't just assume that. You know? Some people actually just don't get it. And they deserve what you have in the ability to try and clarify yourself. So do that. Just do it the first time. It may be take it may take another second or two, but say what you mean, then say it again a different way form. Don't just assume people are as worldly and as knowledgeable as you are when you're talking to them, you know what I mean? If you tell somebody about a 401k and they think you're talking about a, a marathon, they think you're talking about running, damn it, just, just say the financial one. Let them know you're talking about money, and you ain't talking about you know getting new shoes to run in. They don't know. They don't know. Some people just don't know. You have to just assume everybody is just brought up to understand few and have to learn the rest. So talk to them that way. That's what you should do. You know? Because you're only going to A, piss yourself off when you come back to find that they've done exactly the opposite of something you said or didn't do it at all because they didn't understand but didn't ask questions in the first place. So just clarify. Do it for them, do it for yourself. You can't go around slapping people because that's the that's the instant the instant thought is to slap them because I know damn well I told you to cut up half of these potatoes and put them in cold water. Okay? Now one half of the potato cut, the other half sitting there raw whole. Why the hell did you do it? You said half. You stupid some of my boy. Ooh. Ooh. Do it for yourself. Do it for the public. Don't go to jail behind people. That's what it's going to do. Simple assault. That's what it's called. I heard. I reckon. You know. I, uh, I, I did a post. I'm going to go back to this post because I flexed a word I don't necessarily flex simply for the make, to make use of it because because of the same reason, because of some people's understanding. Certain people's understanding makes them feel entitled, makes them feel privileged, or gives them some type of false, you know, confidence to be ignorant, you know. If you get enough people behind something you're doing, some people find it justified. That's not true. That, that could mean every last one of you wrong. But if you got enough people doing the wrong thing, the person in the middle, they don't give a shit. He was doing it. She was doing it. Well, you're all going to die. Well, I know, because now your explanation don't make sense. You didn't say you was willing to die. You just knew you weren't the only one doing it. You know? So I was clarifying in a post about how certain people, depending on where you're from, figure the word nigger is or is not applicable to them. You know? Some people, the whole strength of that word is simply because they want a derogatory meaning behind it for a person of a certain color. That's what a nigger is to them. To them. Now, the person you're saying it to might be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not a nigger. Yes, you are, because you're black. I know I'm black. So you're a nigger. No, I'm not. No, yes, you are. I read it. See, that's as, that's as much understanding as that person has in the offensive way they're trying to, you know, insult you. Because they're ignorant. 
They don't know shit. <laughs> Between kindergarten and 12th grade only contain two books. And that's as smart as them damn people is. They live somewhere way in the hills. You know, they had a sexual experience with their teacher and they were homeschooled. These people, you can't really do nothing about. These And these people exist. You know? <laughs> them two books taught them history, the Civil War, uh, sex ed, and e economics. Two books. And the rest of the time, they was banging their teacher. So... <laughs> and the, the real offensive part is... Is... If you feel, I can't get through to this person, so I'm going to just leave it alone. It's like they're not looking at you as a person and saying, it don't even make no sense to know the meaning of the word nigger, which means lazy or shiftless. And this person has on a Brooks Brothers suit, $300 shoes, a hat, a briefcase, a cummerbund, and a vest. I'm wearing a shirt that says, who farted? I have four teeth missing all in the front. And I'm trying to insult this person by calling them a name that should make them feel bad because I'm saying it to them. It's, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. That person knows themselves. That person's confident in who they are. And damn near probably anything you say ain't going to affect them because they're doing pretty good in life. But to say that, to call them a nigger, What's going to offend them is that I know what a nigga is. Oh, I know what it's, I know what it's like to be niggerish. I possess the skills to show you right now what a nigga would do to you just for you trying to sit, just for you attempting to insult him. But I'm cultured. I'm evolved beyond that. And seeing you in the condition you're in, who gives a shit what you say? You understand that? So, so that's kind of where you get a little offended. It's like, boy, if you, if you, if I didn't have a meeting right now, I'd, I'd, I'd dog walk your ass like a nigga I know would. If, and, and if I could get him over here, I'd have him do it. I just don't have time to straighten you out the way niggas do. Because niggas will stop. I missed this job interview to cut your, a nigga would do that. A nigga miss a job interview to cut your ass if you, if you <laughs> step on the shoe, call him out his name, talk about his mama, straight up and down. You know, to be called a nigga is not necessarily, you know, an offensive thing, but to act in the ways of a nigga sometimes is. Because we know what it is to be a nigga or to act like a nigga. You ever been, let me tell you something. You ever been to one of our offices? Let's say you was going for a job interview, right? And then one of them offices, you go in and you tell the receptionist, yes, I'm here for an interview. They're like, oh, okay, well, have a seat over there. And then you go sit down and right beside you is a table. And on the table, it has candies. And on it, it says, take one. And you open the jar with the candies in it and you get a whole bushel out. That's being a nigga. You're so niggerish. Why are you getting all these people candy? Damn, dog. Get one or two. Get enough to take home. You got to get a whole bushel. It's three left now. That's a, that's a nigga. That's being a nigga. That's doing niggerish shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I heard your girl, Christine, uh, in the hospital. She had a, a lump on her foot. Yeah, I know. Uh, where her husband at? He home. Oh, I'm going to go see how he doing. You ain't going to go see your girl, but you're going to go see her man. That's a nigga. You know what she's going to do. Well, her foot should be all right. She in the hospital. You going over there to sleep with that girl, man. That's some niggerish shit, dog. I swear. I never did like Fred. Fred in the club having a good time. You don't like Fred because Fred got money. Fred got girls. Fred got jewelry. Fred dressed nice. And when you see Fred in the club, you know what your niggerish ass is thinking. If a fight break out right now, I'm going to knock the shit out of Fred. Why? Because I don't like him. If he wasn't doing so good, that's one thing. <laughs> that's a nigga, man. These are some instances that just come off the top of my head, but there are many, many more. If y'all would like to reflect on them, please send your suggestions to me.